Minister Camsell will join our cause, won't he? It's hard to be sure, but we must press our case and have faith. That is all that is in our power to do. You! Are you House End's dogs? A messenger, my lord, from the palace. I seek Lord Sarah Noah Wolfort. You have found him. Lord Wolfort, you have been accused of coercing Minister Sorcelay End unto unlawful acts. Your presence is required at the palace so the Holy One may question you. House End is the guilty party, not Sarah Noah. If you've testimony to give, you are welcome to stand witness at the trial. My lord, this may be a good opportunity to bring our case directly to the Hierophant and the other powerful entities of High's End. I expect the Saintly Seven are not of one mind on this matter. If you can persuade some of the ministers to side with us, Sorcelay will have nowhere to run. Perhaps. Or you could end up the one with his head on the chopping box, Aranoa. Even so, we cannot make an enemy of Hyzant, else we truly will be alone. I must stand trial, plead my case to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, and hope that they believe me. You've been summoned to the palace, Minister Kamsel. The Holy One is to hear the accusations against Minister End, and question House Wolfwort. Very well. So, Sorcely has made the first move. Serena must not have been able to secure evidence against him after all. But order cannot truly be restored simply by sentencing House Wolfort. I must make of this opportunity what I can. There is to be a trial. I see. The Holy One requires the presence of the Saintly Seven immediately. And here I thought you nearly had him, Wolfort. Did I overestimate you? No matter. There is more than one way to trap a greedy boar. Now then, who will be best put to the task? The inquiry of House Wolfort, stood accused by Minister Sorcelay End, will hereby commence. We of the Saintly Seven will preside over this trial. Serenor Wolfort, you stand before the Holy One. Do you swear by the Goddess to speak the truth? I swear. Minister Exham Marshall, you may begin the proceedings. We know Minister Sorcelay quite well, having worked with him for these long years. But we know comparatively little of you, Lord Saranoa. Therefore, we must first determine whether you are worthy of our trust. Surely you have not forgotten his position among the saintly seven of the holy state of Hyzant? I have written it all down as tradition requires. Yes, I have read through your report. It is a sign of sincerity that you would proceed according to our customs. Indeed, I can confirm you are a man of honor and integrity. Once all presiding over the trial have had a chance to express their opinions over your report, we shall pass our judgment. I have nothing further to ask. Next. Minister Kamsel Farrant will make his inquiries. You must understand the difficult position you have put us in, sauntering into our home to denounce one of our own. 
we are a welcoming people, and so must be wary of those who seek to take advantage of our open hearts. If a stranger came to you with unfounded accusations against one of your people, I doubt you would take him at his word. Have you any proof of the foul deeds you claim have taken place in our land? I've heard of a cargo vessel disappearing from the port in the middle of the night. It's possible it was carrying unlawful salt. You present as your evidence another rumor, and one from an anonymous source at that. Is it customary where you are from to condemn a man based on gossip alone? I think not. I have nothing more to ask. Minister Tenebus, if you would. It isn't strange that lay people would fail to grasp the goddess's infinite wisdom. We seven, however, do understand her will. For most, our teachings are the only way they know how to live according to her plan. It is moot to judge Sorsley, one of the seven, based on evidence brought against him by a lay person. No matter what that evidence may be. Unless you have testimony from one who understands the goddess's will, there is simply nothing we can do. Sorsley met in secret with powerful Glenbrook officials and bribed them. Minister Lila's secretary can attest to this. Oh? A secretary to one of the saintly seven, you say? My secretary's word is as good as my own. None is more devoted to the goddess than he. If any can grasp her will, he can. I see. Well, I cannot argue against that. I have no further questions. Minister Lila Viscraft, ask your questions. It is plain to me that Sorsley has indeed engaged in misconduct, namely bribery. Yet while I do not doubt he bribed an official of Glenbrook, what the bribe was for remains unclear. Perhaps you can shine some light on the matter, Lord Serenoa? The ship that disappeared in the night must have been carrying unlawful salt. He'd have wanted to keep that quiet. Yet rumor of such a ship has reached even my ears. Would it not be an utter waste of coin to buy a single person's silence when so many have already heard the gossip? I have no more questions. I, Edor Delmira, will ask one final round of questions. I cannot deny, Lord Serenoa, that Sorsley can be foolish. But he is also dedicated to the Goddess, and he has worked much good as one of the Seven. Though he is not faultless by any means, I believe the Goddess yet favors him. If we are to pass judgment on such a man, we must prove his guilt to the goddess herself. So let me ask you this, Serenoa Wolfort. Where exactly are we to find such evidence against Sorsley and... There must be some evidence in House End's encampment. Ah, yes. The goddess would not be able to see into a place so stripped of faith. Perhaps we would be remiss not to search the encampment on her behalf. My questions are done. Now we will confer with one another. The Holy One will pass judgment after hearing our opinions.
Sarah Nora Woolford. The Holy One has passed judgment. House Woolford is found to have spoken true. Therefore, we find House Woolford innocent and declare Sorsley End a traitor. <laughs> what? Calm yourself. It seems the goddess has mercy yet to give you. Praise her, and praise her wisdom. What mercy has she for me? You will stand in combat against House Woolford. Whomsoever emerges the victor will be cleansed of their sins. Combat? But your sins are indeed heavy, Sorsley. Therefore, we give this to House Wilford. It will be as the Hierophant has decreed. House End and House Wolford will battle until the other falls. May the Goddess of Salt bestow her eternal mercy upon the victor. Am I hearing this right? So guilty criminals get to walk free if they win? We've no choice but to do as they say. It is what the Goddess teaches. And likely the outcome agreed upon by those who view Sorsley as a threat. Whatever the case may be, we must fight, and we must win. They are united in their desire to destroy me. And it is your fault! You will pay for this, Wolfort! 